Hello everybody, I'm the Modern Chew and welcome back to another Let's Play of FTL Advanced Edition. Today I'm going to be going ahead and playing... I'm going to try to get another Type C. So let's see, what do I want to do? I have the Kestrel, the Rock, and the Zoltan. So today I will attempt... Uh, let's attempt getting the Mantis Cruiser Type C. Uh, the Basilisk, or the Mantis Type B, is one of my favorite ships. It's just so fun to use, especially with... Uh, the board, uh, four boarding crew. Very fun, and you can uh, get some pretty nice loadout or uh, pretty nice drops since you get uh, since you will tend to kill the crew instead of the ship. And also, let's go ahead and name it. I'm gonna name this the the Purple Moose. We're gonna be boarding, or we're gonna be uh, riding or flying the Purple Moose, and our captain will be. That Shing. I mean, I was Y Shing before, but uh, I couldn't think of anything better than that. And Jason is going to help board crew. So I like the colors already, and we already have all the achievements, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's see if we can get a win, though, because we haven't won. I only won with uh, Type A. Uh, going to play on normal. Uh, this ship starts with two shields already, which is nice, and uh, has a boarding drone and defense drone one to help you in boarding. Have a lot of fun, and the Manus Pheromones will make your crew run faster. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to... Uh, automated ships are the bane at, of this ship at the beginning, unfortunately. So I can't even... I just have to avoid provoking it. Let's see if we can... Actually, I'm pretty sure Nebula... Nebulae have a higher chance of... Can't take that. Of getting automated ships, so I'm going to try to avoid that. I'm not exactly sure. Someone can fact check me if you want. And we have not been getting anything, so this is turning out to be a bad first few sectors. And here's a fire with an automatic, automated drone anyways. And they have pretty decent weaponry, so the w only thing we can do is hope to get our engines up before we take too much damage and jump out of here. It's kind of unlucky, but whatever. That's what happens in FTL. Uh, thankfully, we didn't miss... We did manage to dodge one of those burst laser shots, and uh, they're not very—they're not really firing that much in tandem. One thing I'm gonna have to worry about though is fires. They could damage either our helm or the, our engines, and that could be pretty bad. Uh, so I'm gonna have to pay attention to where that goes. We're probably gonna have to sustain two fires. That's what I'm guessing. Two, maybe even three, if we get unlucky with our helm and engine. So let's see where they go. They aren't in our helm. Engine, so we can go ahead and uh, drain out the oxygen there. Uh, hopefully our oxygen gets, doesn't get shot down by the enemy ship. And it looks like this next volley will go together. Or not. I have a, I have a chance. Okay, so we got rid of the... Uh, okay, they took down our weapons. That doesn't... It's not really that big a deal. I just want to get out of here. Uh, one more fire until we leave. Unless we get lucky and we might be able to leave. But I don't suspect it's too long. And yeah, we're definitely going to have to sustain another fire. So let's quickly get that uh, repaired. Which... Uh, it's not something that's easy to do when you are just Manti. This is a pretty sucky uh, situation. Let's hope. Okay, so thankfully they didn't shoot down our engines. Come on, get the helm up, and we should be able to jump before. Before, hopefully they don't damage. Okay, weapons more down. So we got unlucky there. But fortunately, we have finally a rebel ship to board. So let's go ahead and board that. We'll focus on repairing the rest of our uh, systems afterward. Let's go ahead and board. They don't have a med bay, thankfully, but they might even have a... Okay, so they don't. All right, so we should be fine. They only have one basic laser, and... That obviously can't get through two layers of shields. De not even one, but definitely not two. So let's uh, hope that we can kill them. Let's see how much more crew they end up having. That might be it. Oh, there's one more, so... I might want to... I actually can't come back because they have that shield and I wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to take care of that, so. Let's see, can I cheese this guy? How much health does he have? Let's see, can I cheese them? I'm 
I'm not doing this in the best way. Wait, so how much health does he have? Okay, I think I can just take him from now for now on. Don't wanna lose that kind of Here we go. Okay. So that was a bit close. But we did get a decent amount of fuel from that, so I'm glad I did it. Get everyone back. And now let's repair everything. Uh, and I have to close all the doors because legitimately Jason almost died because I had oxygenless rooms. That would have been really annoying. But let's go ahead and uh, repair everything. This is going to take a dreadfully long time because, of course, this is a Mantis ship with only two Manti on board. So it would be nice to uh, get an NG. That would be excellent if we could get an NG, especially since he can look over the ship while we board. Also a mission that we want to make for ourselves is to get some weapons. At least something to get rid of green shields, not that these are going to be a bit more common since they have uh, the shield overcharge with drones in advanced edition, as well as for Zoltan ships too. So let's hope we not find those. What else can we make a priority? We can... Yeah, probably just weapons and... Uh an NG uh, to help fix all this up so it doesn't take three hours to uh, fix surveillance. Let's go ahead and heal up our crew. That See, with a weapon, like even if it was just a basic laser, something to take out that green shield because um, without the weapon, I couldn't have uh, teleported back on. I don't even know if I could teleport off. So the civilian ship. It is a raw cruiser. They have missiles though, so I'm gonna go ahead and they have a teleporter too. So I'm gonna just uh, let them board. I'm gonna go ahead and put our defense drone on so we don't take any damage. And I'm just gonna take out this Manti who's coming up. We should be able to kill him before he comes, or before he teleports back. And if he does, it's not that big a deal because we can always just heal and it'd be no problem. Okay, so that was quick. Let's go ahead and heal up really quickly, get Jason up to full, and then we'll teleport on and uh, wreck havoc, wreak havoc. Just hope we don't take any damage uh, from the missile, and we should be golden. I think we only have one more crew member, so this should be very simple. Two Mantis versus a Rockman is uh, pretty one-sided, if I don't say so myself. And there we are. We didn't get that much. But we didn't die. And we still got a decent amount, so I'm not that upset about that. Let's go ahead and put Shang back on. That Shang back on the helm of the Purple Moose. And I might want to consider going to the store, because systems aren't that important right now. Really, I want to focus on getting some sort of engine. Let's go ahead, uh, let's see, you have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space, it looks as if it was fleeing, the rebel advance, you're not sure anyone is on board. Let's go ahead and prepare the board. Okay, good, we didn't lose anyone, but it sucked, but we got some good stuff from here. Let's go to the store and see what we can find. <laughs> okay, so, more crew. Uh, let's see if there's another store, no. I guess we're, maybe we can just go for more crew. But I'm not sure if I want to get Remo or Zimu. Remo would make our boarding crew better, but Zimu would be useful because they'd be able to oh, fix things. And then mind control would actually work pretty well with our boarding crew too. It's unfortunate. Would have bought a weapon over any of these, but I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get Remo, uh, Remo, so we can get that uh, excellent boarding party action. You know, if you know what I mean. Excellent. So, okay, let's see. It is an auto drone, so it doesn't really help us. Let's go ahead and put Rem Remo will be our weapons dude, I guess. No, what am I thinking? You're not gonna be our weapons dude. You're going to be our shield suit for now, at least. But as we wait, let's uh, wait painfully slow for our engines to get up. 
Might be worthwhile to get engines uh, upgraded. But thankfully, we're not uh, in that big of a hurry because they can't get past their shields with uh, an ion blast one and a uh, basic laser, especially if they're missing. The hacking could make it possible, but since we're in an ion storm, it doesn't look like they have enough power to keep hacking on. So we're about 75% there, or 66% there. And we should be leaving, and what I want to say is no time, but that's actually not how it's going to go. It's going to be like another half hour just to get one more bar. And here we are, jump out of here. I mean, it's always annoying how I have to jump away from all these fights because we can't do anything about it. Let's go ahead and tele use the teleporter. We got a map. Well, that's extremely unuseful since we have to go straight to the exit. And there's no way I want to fight uh, a rebel ship with the ABS. So we can hire a crew member, Bloch, which would make our boarding parties even better. And it is cheap, so here we go. Welcome aboard, Bloch, and uh, let's go ahead. So he can repair things, but he is extremely painfully slow, so it's not that great. Um, we can go ahead and go to NG, or we can go to civilian. There's no nebula on this generated map, which is kind of rare, so I'm glad about that. Um, I didn't really want to go to nebulae without having our sensors working, but so hopefully we can find more scrap in a store with a weapon. That is that is very important now, because... Okay, so. Okay, let's see what the mercenary work. We'll pay you fuel and scrap if you promise that. Okay, let's go there. Let's make our way to the quest, I guess. Let's see, what's our path? See, this is a dead end. So, uh, let's, uh... It's gonna be a little bit of a dead end, but we will get fuel, supposedly, from doing this. So let's go ahead and attack this Mantis ship. Unfortunately, they have a med bay. But I might be able to kill them either way. Go ahead and get everything else uh, situated, and let's board them. Actually, let's board the the, the shields because they have priority there, and then we'll send uh, Remo and Shing for the med bay as they deal with our crew there, and they have an engine here, which is going to make it actually not possible. So there's no point in doing that. Let's all just fight and. Uh, here then. We actually might be able to. No, this is gonna be really this is gonna be really difficult. Let's see if we can kill him off before he leaves. We can. Wait, who is with us? We're all in the same room here. Oh, now we're fighting weapons. Waiting for them to heal up. Okay, we do not want you to take damage, so let's go ahead. And let's uh, switch things around. We might be able to take them. Uh, maybe not. We sort of need to focus that. Actually, this Mantis might be able to get away too quickly. Okay, we might be able to kill him. Let's see, is he dead? Yes, we killed him. Okay, so that was good. And uh, let's go ahead and make our way to kill him off before he gets healed. I think we should be able to take it. It is going down. Okay, so that was decently close. I could have always just teleported back if I felt unsafe. But I'm glad I was able to actually do something here been quite unlucky with the uh, encounters. We got a decent amount of scrap from that, so if we do find a store nearby, we can go ahead and uh, check for weapons and all. Go ahead, get everyone else uh, healed up and jump pretty soon. also want a safe position, so I don't have to manually micro all this. Okay, and we will save. And there is a store, so let's first go to the quest, and then we'll make our way to the store. We'll see uh, what this quest has in store for us. 
And uh, let's go ahead and engage the rebel. Let's see. They might have a system repair drone or they might have an anti-personnel drone. Either way, I think we should be able to take them since we have uh, three best fighters and the second best fighter in, the, in boarding. So let's go ahead and... They also don't have a med base, so this should be much simpler. They can't get through our shields, so I'm not that worried. Let's go ahead and go in their shields and see what they have to take us. Only three human. So, uh, this should be very simple. And we got our hull repaired. And there's a shop. And there's good weapons. Good weapons, which is uh, an important distinction to make. Let's see, weapon pre igniter. Definitely don't want that because, you know, I don't, don't have any weapons. So I might want to get the laser charger, which is a, a good all-around weapon. I think so, except it's just going to be a little bit until I can upgrade the weapons. I would need to... Hold on, how much do I need to upgrade weapons? Yeah, it's going to be uh, 65 plus uh, the unnecessary power. Although I don't... Power's not that uh, dry, or not, not dry, it's not that uh, high in demand in the ship because, of course, we're going to be teleporting and stuff. Uh, and it starts out with a lot of power. Let's go ahead and get the charge laser. There's nothing really to sell to to help uh, buffer the cost of that, but it's not no big deal. Uh, at least I can don't need to really go to the store, but I probably will anyways because uh, it makes a decent route. But um, uh, we got the 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 weapon mission, so. That is uh, That was our first uh, mission on this, was to get a weapon. We also got more crew, so we're doing pretty well. I could go a little loop around over there, because I don't want to go to the store, especially with zero scrap. It's like probably the worst time to go to the store, and now there's another store. So... Cannot avoid going to a store, evidently. Let's go ahead and go the long way. Take the long way home. Except we're not going home. Well, I guess we are sort of going home because we were on a mission initially to get some uh, weapons and all, but let's go ahead and board the ship. We should be able to take them out relatively soon. Hopefully they don't ion our shields and stuff, so let's go ahead and go for their weapons first. And they have two NGs, it looks like, on board, so this could go by very quickly. We might even kill them before they get their... No, they will get their charge ion on. Or maybe not. Oh, they just did. But we got rid of that, so let's go ahead. Okay, so we will take asteroid damage. Let's first get our guys back and get them healed up. It's going to be a little while until we get it back, but okay, so we did take damage. And we took more damage. Come on, Ion. Take damage there. Let's go ahead and start getting this fix stuff fixed, but we should be able to uh, not take any more damage because we have two shields, and it's really rare for asteroids and uh, like one of the first asteroid fields to take out more than, more than that. Go ahead and get everything else repaired. I'm going to save the positions here for now. And uh, let's first uh, wait for engines to charge. Painfully slow, but there's a boost when there's no uh, real threat from another uh, ship, so it's not going to be that painfully slow. Let's go ahead and continue. Might want to uh, sp spend uh, some fuel, spend money on some fuel. But then again, not really. I'm going to anyways. Don't want to get uh, caught without any fuel. That's awful. Got an ion intruder. Nice. That's uh, fun. There's four stores in here. Holy crap. One was in the, one of them was hidden, but even three stores is pretty intense. So what have appeared in single damage ship? In fact, two ships that have smashed together. Let's attempt to help the ships by prying them apart. It's hostile. No problem. NG should be no problem. They have no medbay. Also should be no problem. Let's see what this hacks. Hopefully we can get before it hacks, but they only got our engines, and so I'm not that worried. And they can actually get through two layers of shields. Let's get to it. And they have an NG. 
another NG. And a third NG, so this is going to go by very smoothly for us. There should be no problems if we have more crew and the quality of our crew in terms of fighting are all better. Okay, so since this ship's disabled, apparently you interrupted the equivalent of a consolidation of two ships that were using each other's parts to construct a new vessel, and you were not truly hostile. Their targeting computers had not finished adjusting. There's nothing to be done about it. You leave. Okay, so this has happened to me before. I wonder if there's any other event that changes, or if there's any other random chance that you get stuff from actually, uh, actually trying to pry the two ships apart. I hope there is, because that'd be pretty lame if you couldn't, but not the biggest deal. If not, if anything, I got some kills to get our weapons and up. So we can improve our reactor. Might as well, because I'm not using missiles and I'm not using drone parts that much, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we'll be a little bit closer before we get to... Before we get to uh, our weapons being usable. And I went ahead and went to the Mantis Sector because we have such good... Uh, anti-crew and all, anti-borders, that I feel like we should be able to take it, although they have a med bay, so this will not be so simple. So let's first, let's first try to get, go ahead and use a drone part actually on this, don't want to take that. Let's first see if we can kill this mantis, and uh, it would be, it would definitely be useful to get some upgraded surveillance the ship so I can see what's on their ship so I can uh, appropriately strategize. I'm tempted to just go right now, but I'm thinking I might want to wait for them to teleport back on, although it doesn't look like they're going to do that. So let's go ahead and teleport on. Go right to the weapons. And, uh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to go into the doors. I'm gonna try going to the med bay, the, the med bay hole. Oh shit, no, I don't want them coming back. Okay, so they should uh, respond to the shields, and hopefully, while they respond to that, I'll have time to destroy the med bay. Okay, we got the med bay down, excellent. And let's all go to the engines room. Or to the weapons room, we should be able to kill them relatively quickly. Easy peasy. Excellent. And uh, we have some, uh, we have decent money, so we can actually upgrade our weapons to what we want it, but do we have enough power is the true question. I think we do. If we power down, we do a little bit of power micromanagement. So I go ahead and get block healed up. Rolling back. Let's see. So, 65. I have two spare power, really, even with a defense drone, so yeah, this should be no problem. Let's go ahead and upgrade. So, we do have the power to get through a lot of shields and uh, get through any... And get through any shield, uh, any, get, destroy any uh, med bays if we see them, or clone bays. Uh, but there is the Mantis pod. I'm gonna go ahead and pry it open, and nice, we got Lagardia to join our crew. Worst thing could have happened is that he took out a crew, which kind of would have sucked, but... Hey, sometimes you have to take risks. But now we have an excellent boarding party. I'm going to go ahead and have Block man the ship, because why not have all your Manti board? Block is going to be new uh, captain whatnot. And let's go ahead and make our way... There's a lot of beacons here, so that's nice. I'm going to go ahead head towards the distress beacon. Intruders on board, that's no problem. We have a ton of people to take care of that. Should be over soon enough. Actually, I want to get that evade because I do not want to sustain too much from the fire. Because I just remember we're near a sun. So we got the intruders done. They're all humans. Extremely easy. Uh, let's see. We Looks like we will be able to jump out of here before the sun. Nice. And let's go ahead and make our way to the stress beacon. Hopefully not another sun. And it isn't. But it is. Maybe it's a trap. They want fuel. Look, man. I do not have that much fuel myself so I'm gonna have to leave you on your way in fact I don't even have enough scrap to get fuel but 
Let's go ahead and uh, heal up our crew before sending them back so we can hopefully kill ships nearby so we can get a lot of scrap and then get fuel. Except I won't be able to do that since that's a that's a, an auto drone. Actually I can't, I just remembered I have a charge laser. So let's go ahead and use weapons to take this out. I might want to use a boarding drone. I'm going to go ahead and do that because the missiles and uh, hopefully the missile doesn't attack with another asteroid. Looks like we did get rid of the missile, so excellent. The defense drone is not that good at taking out uh, asteroids though, but I think it's a bit of a uh, better tune towards missiles. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take out their weapons. We did manage to take out, oh nice, nice, nice catch there defense drone. We did manage to take out their chain laser, which wasn't, that as, wasn't as much of a threat towards us. But I will go ahead and uh, put Ligardi here on weapons so we can get our charge leader all the way up quicker. I'm going to go ahead and go for weapons once more, and then I'm going to go for... Oh, and they took out the defense drone. That's kind of annoying. Thankfully, we just got rid of the missile. Glad I went there. I was tempted to go to sh uh, shields because like, our defense drone got it, but no. So Let's go ahead and go for shields next so the asteroids can start doing their magic. And we got all their shields down, it seems, and just as our weapons went down. So we uh, got pretty lucky in terms of weapons and all. Nice, so let's go ahead and get Ligar already healed up. And let's jump out of here. I'll do a couple more jumps before going to the store so I get all the fuel I need. Let's demand the surrender of their goods, and we can go ahead and board them. I will, however, use a charge laser to attack as I see fit. And I'm going to go ahead and send two crew on the engines, two crew on the helm. So either way, I'll be damaging their uh, FTL charge. Let's see. Don't take any damage from the flak, which is nice. Always nice. I'm glad about that. And I can go ahead and start taking out some of their weapons, which I want to do. And we got a combat drone, so if worst comes to worst, we can always sell it. But I think I'm probably going to make use of that. Although, combat drones admittedly don't work that well with boarding crews because they might attack you at random if you're boarding. Nonetheless, we can still get a good amount of scrap from that. Get everyone healed up. And let's... Feeling good, so I'm going to go ahead and make one more jump before we get to the store. And we got some free stuff. Excellent. A lot of scrap there, actually. So let's get all the fuel there is. Hopefully it's not like three fuel. It's four fuel, which is better than three fuel. I'll give them that. And Ion Intruder. That's always nice. Honestly, between these three drones right here, I don't think I'm going to need a combat. Might might keep it, though. Let's see what's over here. Anti-drone, that's nice. So we're the same with the system repair. I might, I might actually just want to get that. Although, let's see. There's a clone bay, which is nice, but I prefer the med bay. Mind control can be useful. Anti-drone, nah, not that, not that great. Have a defense drone. Let's see. Always check to see if there's a store nearby. There isn't. Don't really need more Manti, that's for sure. I might end up selling... one of these drones and getting the system repair... I'd love to get the drone uh, re recovery arm because then I would love to use this in conjunction with my boarding crew.
But I'm not sure if the boarding would be even better. I wish I had three drone systems. That would be awesome, because I'd have the defense drone, the board drone, and the intruder. I can't really sell the combat drone, because I want the system repair as well. Gah. I guess I'm not getting the system repair. I also want mind control. That's the thing. <laughs> you have the most intense boarding system. Yeah, I'm... Ooh, that's our last thing, too. Wow, that was quick. Is it really? We have drones, weapons. Oh, yeah, it's... Seven, yeah. So it's between this and cloaking, really. And I think... I'll go ahead and get the mind control. Have a lot of fun, a lot of boarding. Now, it's whether do I want to use the ion intruder or the boarding. I'm not going to use the combat drone, that's for sure. Because I have the defense drone, not enough drone space. The ion intruder, see, it looks... I'm gonna use ion intruder because I haven't used it yet, so I wanna have some fun. Let's go ahead and fix everything. And uh, let's go on out of here. Uh, we can, uh, I don't, doesn't look like we can make three more jumps, but so I might just go right to the exit. Here's a ship. Let's go ahead and board, and I'm going to go ahead and fire up the iron intruder. Although I kind of want to use the defense. Yeah, I'm going to use the defense for now. Don't, there's no point in having the engines up in the medbay, so I'm going to go ahead and fire up the defense. Let's teleport onto the shields, and then we'll try to lure them out as we usually do, and then, uh... Let's mind control. Okay, so we should be able to get rid of the medbay, except no, we killed, we killed them too quickly. Okay, let's see if we can kill him off. Yeah, we did. Excellent. Where's the last guy? Oh, it's right here. So let's just finish him off now. Oh man, we missed that. Okay, excellent. Didn't get that much, but let's go ahead and have our rock crew uh, take care of that fire before it spreads really out of control. Let's also help him repair the drone thing. Shouldn't be too long. And let's send everyone back. So, with the Ion Intruder slash boarding, four Mantis, a mind control, this should be quite, quite the intense setup for boarding we have here. Go straight to the exit. Don't really have enough uh, time or fuel, to be honest, to get that. Really need some fuel. So let's check the asteroid field. And boy, did we get fuel. So I'm very happy about that. Not going to the Zoltan homeworlds for obvious reasons. Let's go to the Mantis. I think it's homeworlds or controlled sector. Yeah, it's the homeworlds. Uh, we've done so well with uh, well so far with the Manti. So let's continue to see if we can get some good boarding done. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the store because I still need some more more weapons and whatnot. And I keep, I also forgot that I had that charge laser, so I could use that and take out uh, whatever I feel necessary. I could also spend some scrap to get increased sensors, which would always be nice. Let's see who they board on, and we'll counter it. Yeah, that's one person, so let's go ahead and use a defense drone. And I'll use my charge laser to charge it up to hopefully get rid of the med bay, and then I'll send my crew back on. Okay, so they sent back, but I should be able to... And let's go ahead and get there. First I'm going to charge laser. Do damage it. 
thankfully. And they sent their NG on, which is like, okay, GG. So let's have Block over here take care of this uh, NG. So that was really easy. Where's this last crew member? Is he fixing the medbay? Yeah, couldn't have you do that. Excellent, got some decent scrap from there. Let's go ahead and teleport everyone back. Get them healed too. I might want to upgrade medbay too because uh, obviously I'm going to be doing a lot of healing in this playthrough because we're going to be boarding them pretty much every battle. And let's go, uh, we can make one more jump so I'll go here first and then we'll go to the store. Thankfully we haven't run out of fuel yet although we've been pretty low. They also have a charge laser so this could be a bit problematic as well as super doors which I'm not very happy to hear about so let's go ahead take out this guy first of all. He should die immediately, and yes, he did. And um, I might want to go ahead and use that on Intruder with, uh, in conjunction with my boarding crew for fun. And I will send them on doors first after charge lasering. So let's see. Hopefully we... Okay, we didn't take that much damage. Man, she got rid of it. Let's go ahead and send our crew, as well as the char, uh, the ion intruder, just to see how it does. And we can mind control someone. There we go. What is my, what is ion intruder doing? It's trying to like break the door open. Why are you doing that? We really wanted to eye on the teleporting. Which is interesting. Let's go ahead and get... Got some decent stuff from that. Although there's a hull breach, so I want to get out of here as quickly as possible. The Iron Intruder is interesting. I thought it closed doors, though, for some reason as well. Or like locked doors when it was ioning. Maybe it does, I'm not sure. Have a lot of scrap though, so let's go ahead and go to the store and see what we can find. Having a pretty decent run. I, I really enjoyed the ship, especially when you find like all these great crew members that are anti 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 species, if you will. Super NGs might consider getting one, that's for sure. Although the burst laser mark two is very tempting. And the hull repair drone. Holy crap, that's an excellent thing to have. But first things first, let's go ahead and get the fuel. Hull repair and burst laser, we unfortunately can't get all of it. Unless I was to sell something. Phantasm pheromones, isn't that, isn't that necessary? So let's see. Boarding. Or sell uh, 30 from that. And so that would bring us to 174 in this. No, 154 rather. And this would become... 108, 179, 80, 80 plus an NG. Wait, no, I want the whole repair, so that's 165. I'm still torn between the Ion Intruder and the boarding. Yeah, I'm gonna sell the Ion Intruder. I wanted to try it, but uh, I have better options, really. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell the Fit Mantis Pheromones. <sighs> Didn't think that through, did I? 
Oh wait, no, I did. I, I can't afford this. I'm stupid. Uh, so let's go ahead and get both. So we're not going to have to worry about repairing anymore. And now we have some of the best laser weapons in the game. Excellent. Great, great, great. Let's continue on. Let's go ahead and attack this ship. This should be very easy. Let's pour it. Now, one thing that will complete this ship is... is going ahead and getting... Okay. Going ahead and getting a drone uh, recovery arm. That would be excellent. Perhaps even more valuable than a scrap recovery arm. And we got hull repair healed, which is not that important. And the reason why I say the drone recovery arm will be more important is because I'm not sure if they patched this, but uh, if you jumped before the hull, the the hull recovery the hull repair drone disappeared, then you got the drone part back if you had a drone recovery arm. So you could get two, maybe even three, if you're really good at it, hull every time for no drone part. For free, basically, which is excellent, if you think about it. Excellent, excellent. Let's go ahead and go up here so we can explore the top parts if we want to. So they have big scary uh, laser thing. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the burst laser. Because it's a bit more efficient in terms of uh, time per power per laser shot than the charge laser. So. This is a really good weapon in the game. Let's say it at that. And we go ahead and go for weapons first. And then I will go for shields with all my other crew. We should be able to take them out because there's generally not... Well, it's always just humans on here, so... We should be able to take them out because... Unless they had more than f four humans, then it'd be pretty easy. They did take out our O2 and start a fire, though, so that could be pr problematic. Let's go ahead and send our block over here to do that. And we got backup DNA, which is... Uh, interesting to say the least. I don't have a clone base, so it's not the most interesting, if you know what I mean, but it's interesting nonetheless. And there's a pretty scary fire starting here. Let's go ahead and try to get up out of here. Uh, I'm pretty sure Manti are not that great at taking out fires, so let's get a rock crew in there. There we go. Let's get everyone else healed up. while the oxygen replenishes, and we should be good to go in a matter of seconds. We have a lot of scrap still, so we can... I might want to just upgrade the ship, or let's see, how much? I need 80, 85 plus 50, so 135 more to get the, all of our weapons going, which we're very close to. I'm going to go ahead and explore the top, just feeling a bit adventurous. Also, I forgot to heal Jason all the way. Let's go ahead and attack them. They have a clone bay. Not the end of the world, especially since we can take it out easily. And they're going to try to teleport onto us. So let's see what happens. They only brought one dude. I'm not scared at all. And let's go ahead and teleport back on. This Actually, we didn't end up take, uh, completely damaging that. So let's go ahead and... Wait for, oh, I didn't, wait for another burst laser. Took out her doors just before shields came up, which is kind of obnoxious. Okay, they're sending more people. Yeah, see, they're cloning. I can't. Let's, uh... So I'll go ahead and... Send crew at the helm and then the rest will go for the cloning bay which i hope they don't prioritize it looks like they do which is obnoxious but we can perhaps kill it off before that happens so let's go ahead and mind control we might want to teleport some of our crew back so our rock dude doesn't die. Although, Block has actually taken out this Mantis pretty nicely. Kind of confused how, but. 
Okay, we got the the clone bay down, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and send some back up as soon as they came back. No, I didn't want to send everyone. Oh, crap, that's annoying. So... Oh, of course they've damaged our teleporter too. I want to teleport as soon as I can. Let's quickly get it repaired. We should get it repaired. It's good enough. And uh, as soon as they repair that medbay, although they won't because they have a mantis, let's go ahead and jump back on. And this should be pretty simple from now on. Excellent. Manage that well, and there's, yep. Get our uh, three dudes healed up. Also need to repair doors. So let's go ahead and do that real quickly. I think it will be faster to send my rock crew, even though he's sluggish to repair, than to send two Mantai there. Excellent. Let's go ahead and go back. Send everyone back. And we have a ton of scrap. So if there's not a snore nearby, I might just go ahead and upgrade weapons. Yeah, there's no store, so let's go ahead. I'm going to jump once more, check out those locations to see if there's a store there. They have another clone bay, and they also have an Artemis missile. So I'm going to go ahead and power down the engines and put on a defense drone. And let's go ahead and board. They have a lot of a lot of shields so i'm gonna go ahead and actually try to take down that they do prioritize prioritize the shields over the, the clone bay which is good so now i know how to deal with that in case that uh, problem comes awry and there we go that was very easy let's go ahead and get everyone back up heal them for a little bit because they only took a little bit of damage excellent is there a store nearby no. So let's upgrade our ship. Can get... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get all that. So we can have all of our weapons up. Really would like to get a drone recovery arm. That'd be excellent. So I've been getting lucky. I'm gonna jettison the pod this time. Because we got lucky with that first one. I don't want to lose someone again. I don't want to lose someone because of that. So I'm just going to play safe there. And let's fight this ship. Should be easy. They have a med bay and cloaking. But that's not the biggest issue. They have a burst laser mark 5 though. So that can be a bit uh, troublesome. So I'm going to charge up our charge laser. And we'll... I'm probably going to have to take out the med bay first. And depending on what we see on their ship, I might actually just send a boarding drone for funds. Uh, we're gonna t take some pretty bad damage from this. Thankful. Oh, it did attack. It did hit shield. So I'm gonna go ahead and. While we're waiting, I'm actually gonna take out weapons first because we're getting a bit delayed in terms of. Yeah, of course, they kept the burst laser back on. So let's wait a little bit. We'll take out the burst laser first. Because that's what has a primary threat to us. And there we go. We should have been able to take it out reasonably enough. And let's go ahead and board. Actually, need to take out the med bay first. So let's go ahead and get everyone healed up before we board, after they cloak. And let's see what's on their ship. Okay, so we got the medbay down. Let's go ahead and go to the weapons. And we'll send two guys at the, to the medbay. They do not have any fighting crew, so this should be very simple. He 
should go down very quickly. Excellent. You got a burst laser mark one, which is uh, it's not the best weapon, but it's a very good weapon. So we have really good shield depleting power now. Especially green shields. So I'm not sure if this is going to be our final weapon loadout. Probably not. It'd be better to find uh, like a missile maybe. I don't know. But we have a very good one nonetheless. Let's go ahead. I'm going to jump up here. I think I can make this and then go to the exit. I think we have three more jumps. One, two. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to risk it. Probably not the best idea. We'll see what happens. Hopefully there's nothing... Okay, there is something here. Gonna go ahead and give him the missiles. We got a shield charge booster. I mean, that's okay. It's okay. But let's go ahead and use our hull repair drone. See how much hull we get from here. The minimum, but hey, you can't expect to always get like five or something. We're also getting low on fuel again. Nothing here. Why did I decide to stay low? I didn't even make that decision. I'm the captain. Why are you just using this for me? And uh, we can sell drone parts for scrap, but really, the drone parts translate into scrap because we can use it to heal, which we can then in turn not use at stores to heal. Uh, but we really need some fuel, so I'm going to go ahead go to the nebula because it will expose us to more beacons nearby. <sighs> that is not what I wanted. I'm sorry. Okay, so hopefully this nebula has something for fuel here. It's an ion storm. And we didn't get fuel, we just got intruders, so let's see where are they. They're in the med bay, which I can't guarantee is the smartest idea. Uh, not judging them or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's not the best idea. They only boarded us with four. I can actually just have some fun and mind control one as I, as I make him oxygenless. Let's heal up our crew real quick. Excellent. And we're at no fuel. So we got good resources there, but we're going to have to put on our uh, dis distress beacon and wait. Let's gracefully accept their offer, and they give us four fuel. That's awesome. I feel bad about not giving fuel to those other guys now, but hey, we probably would have been in this bad situation earlier anyways. Let's inquire about the specialty. Upgrade reactor for cheap? Yeah, I'll take it. Here's a store. So I'm going to go jump here, so get some more scrap before we get to the store. I'm not paying any toll. They don't have a med bay, which is nice. But they do have a missile, so I'm going to go ahead and fire on the defense drone. Let's go ahead and jump on. I'll go ahead and go for the weapons first, and we can just mind control. Let's see if we can get the mantis. We did get a mantis, excellent. They had a pretty decent uh, boarding defense crew, so mind control is always nice. We should be able to kill him off pretty quickly. Got fuel and scrap. Nice. So we can buy more fuel at the store. And we'll have extra scrap to do it. And what what is something that I'll want at the store if we were to find uh, like a bunch of stuff? A better weapon than the Burst Laser 1 would always be appreciated, but I'm not complaining that much. Honestly, the best course... Oh, there's two stores. 
I'm gonna go with this one simply because it's closer to stuff. Get more fuel. Let's see what's here. Thankfully, it's two pages. Reverse iron field, that's always nice. Oh, what I'd really like at the store is a drone. Recovery arm. And I might be... Might be willing to check that other store for it, especially because they're good enough, giving us so much fuel. I can go ahead and get the reverse ion field. Let's see, do I have enough jumps? One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Being a bit inefficient, but I'll go ahead and jump here first. Intervene, let's see what happens. Do they send something at us? No, it doesn't seem so. So let's go ahead and uh, board. They don't have a med bay. They might have a yeah, an anti personnel drone. Not the worst thing in the world. So I can go ahead and mind control in. Fortunately, they're attacking. Oh, oh god, this is actually they they have some decent uh, shield taking outing power. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire all the lasers. Hopefully, we can get down some weapons, and we did. So they can't actually do damage to us anymore. So it's just since they're trying to repair that, or they're not. They just have one more human. This should be very simple. We got a pike beam. That is better than the burst laser, in my opinion. Awesome. And we got fuel. We got a ton of scrap. Send our crew back before we jump. I do not want to lose that. That would be awful if we lost all that crew. But we have a lot of scrap, and we can choose to spend it on probably. I probably should stop ignoring engines and shields so much. It's probably not the best idea. But let's quickly get everyone healed up. Let's check this store and then we'll check back to the other store and see which one's better. If this one has a drone recovery arm, I'll be so glad I'm making all these unnecessary jumps. They do! Yes! That's awesome. And for the first time ever, I have a chance of getting the Vulcan. Which looks nice. It looks nice. I Let's see. It takes four. Which I can't use in conjunction with the charge laser. Defense two is nice. Anything to sell. I'll sell the burst laser. Keep the pike beam. That thing is a great weapon. I should be able to take out shields with this. And, I mean, I'll have seven shots, potentially. So, as long as I only miss two at max, I should be... Or, as long as I only... As long as I hit four out of seven, then I should be golden. Which is pretty likely, even if they have really high evade. The Vulcan is really tempting, though, but this is not a ship for weapons. If I had... Another ship that was based on really weapons, I would get this Vulcan, uh, no doubt about it, but I will go ahead and not get it. Was there anything from the other ship that I wanted now? Got a lot of fuel. Maybe just get the backup battery. No, I'm not gonna get it. Oh, there's another store. Okay, so let's make our way back. Check what's at the other store. See if I wanna spend any more on it. There was the NG and another backup battery, so. I'm gonna go ahead and sell the backup DNA. I do not need that. Might want to get the re reverse ion field though. We'll get that. And I will get Bird. Um, yeah, we're not. Yeah, you're not going to be named Burko on this ship. You are being named Birdo, and you're going to like it. Birdo is now going to be our new pilot, it seems, because uh, Birdo starts with. No, we can't because we need to have the NG available. Or not. No. And she's, uh, Birdo's gonna be our pilot. Bloch is now gonna work, uh, en engines and whatnot. And let's go ahead and... 
upgrade our ship. Let's... I can get two shields. I'm gonna go ahead and get... Ugh. Engines? I need engines. Get another engine. Okay, so get the evade up. Very important. And I'll make our make our way to the distress beacon, see what's there. Hopefully it's not a random event chance, but it seems like it is. Let's use our rock crew, contact the survivors, and we get emergency respirators. Not the best. So unfortunately I can't sell you, but there's no other choice really. I want to upgrade teleporters. Or mind control, actually. That would be good, too. And I should be using this hull repair, so... I'm going to go ahead and upgrade engines again. Let's get into the habit of hull repairing before we jump. So I'm going to count two, and then I'm just going to jump. Two, one, two, and let's jump. And we get the drone part back, so they didn't patch it. Probably should have. Although, no, I don't think so. They're mind controlling us, so let's counter mind control. And then we'll come back. They do not have anything that can take get past your shields. And let's jump on. I should get surveillance. That's one thing I could have gotten just now. Go ahead and take out their mind control because that can just be annoying. As well as piloting. Why not? They have a decent defense crew, but... My laser should be good enough for it. Or our crew, rather, not my lasers. <laughs> They're mind controlling us. Can really f mess with us. But we won this battle pretty short, uh, pretty easily. They have another, uh, another crew member, but she should die off too. So we got some fuel. So now we're out of the red with fuel, really. Like far out of the red. So I'm glad about that. Add the comfort zone. Let's go ahead and upgrade sensors. Although I guess I could have just always had a mantis on center sensors to check out what's on their ship. Oh, whatever. Always nice to have some good sensors. You get some good blue options as well with it. And let's make our way to the exit. Shing needs to get healed, actually. Let's hail them. And they're offering us some um, drone parts, which, to be honest, I don't need. Sorry, politely declined. Not that great. So we have two civilian sectors. I'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom one because it gives us more variety at the end. And I will cut the, the playthrough here uh, into two parts. So... In the next episode, we will continue on Sector 6 and what Sector 6, 7, and hopefully the last stand. Uh, we have a great, great setup. It's a really fun one, too, uh, so to take the flagship, as long as they don't botch it up as I did in my last run with uh, losing crew stupidly. But last run, I only had one Mantis. This run, I have four Mantis. So I guess it's not the end of the world if we do lose crew. Very fun run. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you guys have any suggestions for my playthroughs or my videos to improve them, go ahead and uh, leave those in the comments. And if you guys, like, I didn't lose, obviously, just yet, but if you guys have any, would like to discuss when I lose or when I win, what decisions or events you think were what broke or made the run, go ahead and do that. Because I, I believe that FTL is a game that's that is uh, very every decision can have great weight on your run like there's usually for what runs you run runs you lose there's usually a decision that you that is makes you lose and there's usually a decision that makes you win for runs you do win so thanks again everyone i'll see you guys in part two goodbye